had a name. You think I don't remember? So I know you got, uh, you knew you were gonna be turning this into a movie like years and years ago, sold the rights, whatever. Was there a amount of dread in, in the years preceding the actual filming of the movie? Like, because uh, of the books I grew up with, this has to be the most daunting one to turn into a movie. Uh -huh. uh, luckily, I didn't have to deal with the dauntedness <laughs> of it. I knew other people would. And because the major other person was Jeff Bridges, I had no dread. I thought he would do a good job. He was dedicated to the book, to maintaining the integrity of the book. And so over the years, though it didn't get made until many years had passed, I never felt any feeling of apprehension or dread. What is the most satisfying part of the book, which has a very specific literary feel, to bring to the screen? I think the ending. Um, it was so important to us to retain the feeling of the ending. Um, you know, and, and I think we have. The, the ending is uh, baffles, in, in, the, in, the, in the novel, baffles some people, totally satisfies others. Hopefully in the movie we have total satisfaction mm -hmm. because it's, the, the, while, while there's more, um, there are more loose ends in a way tied up in the movie, hopefully it catches the spirit that makes the novel so special. And even though it was ambiguous, the ending to me was always positive and optimistic. As it is in the, in, yeah. in, in the film yeah. as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I know Meryl's role in the book was basically expanded for the big screen. So I'm, I'm assuming because it was smaller in the book, you never anticipated it would be Meryl Streep. What does she add to the part? Oh gosh, uh, do you have a few hours for me to answer that? When I heard that Meryl Streep had signed on, I thought, why would she take that little role of the chief elder, which in the book is a very small role. Then I found that the screenwriters had expanded that role, made it a more complex character. And then she coming in and using the words that they wrote expanded it further just by her facial expressions, her tone of voice, her posture. She just blew it uh, up and it was wonderful to see that. So it's been over 20 years since the book came out. I was just wondering the both of you, what are your favorite uh, heroes and heroines in literature for uh, young people? Oh, what did well, you read, I'd say on? I'd say Pip uh -huh. in Great Expectations is probably my favorite. And, uh, you know, it's funny because uh, there are some similarities between Pip and Jonas. There's probably, yeah. you know, there's always a theme of a young person facing a journey, a yeah. quest. Uh, changing as that takes place. For me, I would say a boy named Jody in a book called The Yearling that oh. changed my life when I was eight years old. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitPix on Twitter or visit HitPix.com.